Octavia, as I drove up I-26 westbound this morning, I was stopped by three North Charleston police officers. They said all lanes of I-26 westbound are closed and they are expected to be closed for the next few hours as we head into this early morning. Now they told me that there was a collision with a truck and another car. The truck actually went off of I-26 onto Bennett Yard Road. Now you can see traffic is being directed right here off of exit 215 onto Dorchester Road. That incident, however, did happen around mile marker 214. So I drove to where I was told that car drove off on Bennett Yard Road. It was private property, so I was escorted off. But before I left, I saw that there were multiple police cars on top of I-26 westbound, as well as police cars on the bottom. This is where I believe that truck did fall off onto Bennett Yard Road. South Carolina Highway Patrol did confirm that a car rear-ended the truck, sending it off the overpass. That is new information we're just bringing to you within the last five minutes. And I spoke with North Charleston police officers, and they said, you know, stuff like this happens, but unfortunately it is affecting westbound traffic. They'll keep us updated as they learn any new information, but they told me that there is a tow truck on I-26 eastbound. I actually saw that with my own eyes as I did a couple detours and went to drive and check out the scene. And they said that tow truck is probably a little bit confused that it is supposed to be getting the truck that's down on Bennett Yard Road. So hopefully that situation will get sorted out. But as for traffic, it isn't going to be relieved anytime soon. Josh Marthers is in studio to give you an update of how to get around it. Josh? They still have to fix uh, that guardrail where that, yep. that, that vehicle crashed through. Mm -hmm. Again, that, uh, that information we've been reporting, uh, the first to report all morning long that uh, this uh, truck had crashed over the overpass and down onto Bennett Yard Road, but then you also had the other vehicle that was right. still up on I-26. Yeah, great reporting from Temple <laughs> this morning, and we, we know that that two people were transported to the hospital. We don't have any word right now on their conditions, but as you can see, I I-26 westbound remains closed this morning, but fortunately on the eastbound lane, everything looks like it's moving smoothly. Octavia, I drove up I-26 westbound this morning where I was directed to get off onto exit 215 to Dorchester Road. I spoke with North Charleston police officers and they say that a truck drove on I-26 westbound and then it went off the overpass onto Bennett Yard Road. I went to check out the situation at Bennett Yard Road and what I did see was that there were multiple police agencies down there. There were police cars, ambulances, fire trucks, as well as on top the overpass on I-26. Now, one thing I want to show you is that we do have North Charleston police officers out here directing traffic. They've been out here since four in the morning and they tell me that this situation is going to take a little bit of time to clear up. They are expected to be out here for the next few hours. However, they aren't the responding agency responsible for the details in this case. South Carolina Highway Patrol did reach out to us and they confirmed that a concrete truck was rear-ended by another car whenever it was sent off the overpass. Now, I did drive on I-26 eastbound to see if I could see a little bit of what was going on with this situation. When I did, I saw there were a couple police officers and a tow truck up there as well. So hopefully they're getting this sorted out. Again, no injuries are reported. Reporting in North Charleston, Temple Ricky, count on two. Yeah, Brad, I drove up I-26 westbound a little earlier, and that's where they had three cops stationed at exit 215, pushing vehicles onto Dorchester Road. Now you can see there are multiple police cars out here, as well as multiple officers directing traffic. The stoplights aren't really working. They're just doing it by hand, making sure to get as much traffic as they can alleviated from I-26 westbound. Now, the incident we're told is that a truck drove off the overpass onto what looks to be Bennett Yard Road. I drove out to Bennett Yard Road earlier and I was stopped because it is private property. I wasn't allowed to drive close enough to the incident, but what I did see is that there were fire trucks, ambulances, and police cars on top of the interstate, as well as a little bit of commotion on the bottom of the interstate. There were numerous police cars before I was escorted off the property. Now we're back here at Dorchester Road and you can still see that the police cars are behind me. I spoke with North Charleston police officers and they did confirm that it was a two vehicle incident. They said that the truck ended up going over the overpass and that the car is still on I-26 westbound. I did drive I-26 eastbound to see if I could get a better look at the situation. There is a tow truck up there. Now again, North Charleston police officers tell me that they think that tow truck was a little confused and that it should be down on the ground back on Bennett Yard Road where the truck did go off the overpass. They said they'll keep me updated as they learn more, but they aren't the responding agency to this. They are just outside directing traffic. And for more information, we did reach out to the South Carolina Highway Patrol, but we have yet to hear back. Now I know Josh Marthers is in studio. He's gonna give you guys an update of how to get around some of this traffic. Josh. Octavia, I drove up I-26 westbound earlier this morning where I was stopped by three North Charleston police officers. They said I couldn't go any further. I-26 westbound is completely closed. All lanes are closed. So I was directed to get off right here. This is exit 215. It takes you to Dorchester Road. 
and you can see that officers have their car set up. There are multiple police officers out here directing traffic using flashlights. Cones are set up just to make sure to alleviate some of that pressure that's building up from I-26 westbound. Now you can see they are turning, heading up Dorchester Road. There are a couple options they can take. Josh Marthers will talk about that with you later. But what we are told from North Charleston police officers is that a truck was driving on I-26 westbound when it went over the overpass. We don't know what caused it to fall over the overpass onto Bennett Yard Road, but we do know there was another vehicle involved. I'm told that car is still located on top of I-26 westbound with a truck sitting at the bottom on Bennett Yard Road. Now I did take a little detour and I drove eastbound to see if I could see anything with my own eyes. What I saw was a tow truck sitting on I-26 westbound and I asked the North Charleston police officers about it and they said, you know, we think that tow truck may be a little bit confused and that it's actually supposed to be down on Bennett Yard Road where the big truck is located. If that vehicle was any special type of truck, they said they weren't able to confirm that, but we do know that it did fall off the overpass onto Bennett Yard Road. So once again, drivers are being forced to take exit 215 onto Dorchester Road because the incident occurred a little ways up on 214. I'll keep you updated as we learn more, but that's all we have right now. And Josh is gonna give you some commutes to help make your traffic a little bit smoother this morning, Josh. Octavia, on my drive up here, I was on I-26 westbound where I saw three cops. They were blocking off the road. They said it is shut down and I was deferred onto the exit 215, which is where I'm standing now. It takes you to Constitution Avenue. If you look behind me, you can see that there are a couple officers still blocking off that westbound side. Now, I spoke with the North Charleston Police Department and they tell me this was a pretty serious accident. A car was traveling westbound on I-26 when something happened. They're not sure what it was at this point but that car did go off of I-26 onto Bennett Yard Road. Now I wanna point out, I drove to Bennett, car, Bennett Yard Road earlier. I wasn't able to get all the way down to the incident, but I did see it. There were ambulances, police cars up on I-26, as well as below on Bennett Yard Road. Officers told me that the car is still located at Bennett Yard Road, so I'll bring more details as they become available. But for now, reporting in North Charleston, Temple Ricky, count on two.